Hello and welcome back to Busting Our Wax. I'm your host David and Ark, and today uh, we've got three packs of 1981 Fleer. That is awesome. Notice it says Premier Edition. Uh, the story behind these, if you uh, don't know, is that uh, before uh, 1981, and really it was around 1980. Um, before that time, uh, Topps had managed to uh, monopolize the baseball card industry, um, kind of like they do now, except they were doing it what was deemed illegally back then. Now, Topps does it because they have an exclusive contract with the MLB. It's a monopoly, no matter how do you cut it. Back then, they basically just tried to shove out anybody who attempted to make uh, licensed baseball cards, and uh, they were found to be in the wrong, and so you had folks like uh, Fleer pop up. That's when Upper Deck popped up. Um, and uh, so this is the the rebirth of Fleer. Fleer was an old card company um, back in the, uh, like, 50s, probably even before that. Um, and so they, and, and really Fleer was a uh, candy company, like, a lot of these, uh, a lot of the baseball card companies were. They they did other things and added baseball cards to their product. Well, in '81, Fleer was reborn, and the set itself is riddled with uh, the, the cards have all kinds of errors. Some of the errors got corrected. Some of the errors didn't. The most famous card in the set is certainly the uh, Billy Ripken uh, baseball bat, where he's got the cuss word at the end of the bat. I'll let you just, you can Google Billy Ripken and <laughs> it'll come up. Uh, of course, you get the obligatory <laughs> gum from 1981 and, uh, oh, it actually just popped right off. I, it, it is so tempting to eat this just to see, but I'm, I'm assuming I would probably keel over or something. So here's, here's a goofy fun fact. When I was a kid, um, and I would get gum out of baseball cards, I would break the gum into tiny little pieces. And then I would take those little pieces with their sharp corners, and I would stick them all in um, an apple. And then I, as I would eat the apple, I would get these little bites of gum, and it was like eating a uh, candy apple. I know, it's crazy, it's goofy, uh, and you're not supposed to swallow gum, but uh, you know what, I've, it's, I've made it this far, so I think we're okay. But anyway... So there you go. Fun little fact. All right. We have, oh, nice. Joe Necro from the Astros. Eric Rasmussen, Padres. Frank Pastor, Reds, or Pastore? I don't know. I never know. Rodney Craig for the Mariners. Alfredo Griffin, shortstop for the Blue Jays. I, <clears throat> I, I, <laughs> I got to stop here a minute. I mean, when I was a kid, we bought these packs and, and, you know, they were fresh. They were brand new. I mean, I, I remember getting these, some of these players and having their cards and to, uh, to be doing this all over again, this many years later, it's just, uh, it's crazy. I have a little something sticking up there. Sorry. <laughs> <clears throat> Gary Lucas for the Padres. Harry Spillman for the Reds. Ted Cox for the Mariners. Oh, the Pirates' Manny Sanguian. Oh, my gosh. Does that bring back memories? Uh, I grew up in Pittsburgh uh, at the time when the Pirates were just kicking everybody's butt. Um, and, uh, you know, we won the 79 uh, World Championship and, you know, with the whole We Are Family and Willie Stargell and Dave Parker and all those guys. And, oh, my gosh, that, wow. Bob Shirley, Shirley don't call me Bob, for uh, uh, Padres. <laughs> I was reading 495, which was his card. Oh, Ladies and gentlemen, George Foster for the Reds. Oh my gosh, that is phenomenal. Man, Maury Wills, manager for the Mariners. Oh my gosh, Joe freaking Morgan, Astros, Joe Morgan. Chuck Baker for the Padres. Paul Moscow, Reds. 
Man, a lot of Reds, a lot of Blue Jays, a whole lot of Mariners. We got Bruce Bocce, card number 600 in the set. So Bruce, I'm assuming Bocce, I always said it that way, for the Mariners. And uh, usually in the sets, the um, the round numbers, the, the hundreds, you know, 100, 200, those cards were reserved for superstar players. And then... Um, the 50s were also reserved, so if you were 450 or 550, those were usually reserved for the really good players. What's funny is you have folks like Joe Morgan, who is card number 78. That makes no sense, at least in terms of you know a regular numbering scheme. And then finishing out this pack, we have Gary Templeton for the Cardinals. That is awesome. Holy cow. So that's our first pack. There are 17 cards in a pack. And uh, let's see what the next pack has to. Oh, okay. This gum. <laughs> uh, lots of pieces. Lots of pieces. All right. So we'll be, we're just going to throw that away. All right. We have Mike Jorgensen, the Mets. Oops. Bob Boone for the Phillies, and look at the miscut on that. It's not too bad, but still definitely not centered. Okay, I'm trying to remember how to say his name. Dan Schatzeder for the Tigers. Gary Weiss, Dodgers. Ray Burris for the Mets. Check out the hair. Oh, that is so late 70s, early 80s. Oh, Tug McGraw. Holy cow. If you're a country music fan, you may know Tim McGraw. Tim McGraw, Faith Hill. Anyway, Tug McGraw is Tim McGraw's dad. I know you probably already knew that, but I'm going to share it anyway, just in case. You're going to learn all kinds of stuff. Willie McCovey. Oh, my gosh, man. All right, and Mr. Dick Davis for the Brewers. <laughs> I have, oops, two cards got stuck together. Wayne Nordhagen, White Sox. Dave Revering, Revering, Revering? Sure, Revering <laughs> for the A's. Dan Norman, Mets. Pete Lecoq for the Royals. Again, look at the hair. Holy smokes. Francisco Barrios, White Sox. Mitchell Page for the A's. Mark Fidrich for the Tigers. Tommy Hutton, Expos. And Jim Morrison, not of the Doors, but of the White Sox. So there you go. All right, that rounds out another pack of 1981 Fleer cards and we have one more pack to go and uh, I just uh, I was poking around the internet you know as, as often happens especially late at night uh, you get to poking around the internet and suddenly you know you're you're uh, adding stuff to a shopping cart and the next thing you know you've got cards in the mail at least that's how it works for me, and uh, and that's what happens when you have the cardboard habit. You uh, end up with cards. Uh, whoops! Ouch! All kinds of cards. This this is how I'm having a hard time with this. Uh, that gum is pretty stuck. So that's Johnny Oates from the Yankees with funky gum attached to his head. You know it happens. Jeff Zahn for the Twins. Daryl Porter. Royals. There we go. Tom Verzer, the Indians. Oh, and that is back to back with Len freaking Barker of the Indians. Had a perfect game. Did he have two perfect games in his career? I can't remember now, but I know he had at least had one. Um, you'd think I'd know that being an Indians fan, but nah. Rob Wilfong for the Twins. Dennis Leonard of the Royals. Oh, another Indian. Sid Monge, and I, and I hope that's how you say that. That's how I always said it growing up, so I don't know. But another Indians. I should have done tribe or no tribe with this pack. I'd be kicking butt. Uh, that's a, by the way, tribe or no tribe is a game I play sometimes. 
where I open up a pack and uh, score points uh, based on uh, what cards are revealed. And, of course, Indians get bonus points. There is Dave Goltz for the Dodgers. <laughs> cards are stuck together. Bill North of the Giants. Jose Cruz for the Astros. Wally Backman, Mets. Vic Davalio. <laughs> I have no idea how you say that there. You say it. I don't know how to say it. All right, that's the Dodgers. Al Holland of the Giants. Astros, Alan Ashby. The Cubs, Bruce Sutter. And how stupid is this? He's a pitcher. Was a phenomenal pitcher. Amazing pitcher. And they have him in a batting stance. Why? Why do you do that? Anyway, Charlie Lee of the Expos. And that rounds out our three packs of uh, Fleer 1981 Premier Edition. Look at that nice, beautiful stack of cards. That is fantastic oh that is great stuff great stuff and uh, enjoyed going down memory lane and uh, i don't hope you learned something or if anything hope you kind of enjoyed the trip with me so there you go thank you so much leave any questions problems suggestions horror stories down in the comment section below hit the like button if you would i appreciate it and thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time when we bust our wax